So today, 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 today. YouTube. Something that's been a part of my life for over six years now. What started off as a source of entertainment and a place to escape has become a platform in which I can express myself and share to others my creativity. Now, by all means, my videos aren't perfect, and most likely they never will be, but I like the fact that there's always going to be room to improve, and I think that that's just one of the countless reasons as to why I like YouTube so much. Now, you might think that sounds silly, like, oh, you love YouTube, da 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 da, but it's true. I was hooked the minute I started watching videos of others creating, and I wanted to do the same. Ever since I was a little boy, I've been obsessed with making videos. I used to film little videos in my room on an iPad that only I'd be able to watch, but just the idea that I'd made a video of my own gave me that thrill. Every holiday that we went on, I would always be the one with the camera, recording everything, even if I knew that watching it back, it might not even be interesting. When being asked when you're younger, what do you want to be when you grow up? Most likely you'll say something like a doctor or an astronaut, but for me, it was this. It looked so fun. Every aspect of it appealed to me. Working with your friends, traveling the world, being able to create whatever you want and no one being there telling you what you can and can't do. The freedom that comes with building a platform that is yours. On the 26th of February, 2017, my journey began. After years of watching other people create, it was my turn. However, let's just say that that didn't really go to plan. You see, I used to watch all kinds of videos, from the funk bros jumping off the roof, to Casey and I start riding around New York City, and the sidemen, well, being the sidemen. I wanted to do it all, but that was the issue. I wanted to do all of it. I didn't focus on one specific niche because, well, let's be honest, at the age of 10, I don't think I even knew what a niche was. All I saw was other people having fun for their job. So as a child wanting to be, let's say, 20 different people all at once, I ended up making videos ranging from trick shots to football challenges, vlogs, gaming videos, and even a music video. Wait, 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 hold on. We, we don't need to watch that though. It's, uh, it's on private for a reason. Anyway, after a few years of creating what can only be described as crap. I finally started getting the hang of things. In 2020, I built my first ever PC. Finally, my own computer. I could stream, edit videos, and play games. And do homework. Of course. Yeah. So with this new computer, I began making gaming videos. Now, I'd soon come to realise that gaming videos weren't what I wanted my main focus to be. However, at the time, I thoroughly enjoyed making them and constantly playing with my friends, especially during the pandemic when all I could do was stay inside anyway. Like I said though, after about a year or so of creating gaming videos on Minecraft and Fortnite, I just started to get bored. Not bored of making videos, no. In fact, I wouldn't even say I was bored, but rather wanted to be doing more, which coincidentally is when a guy named Jake transitioned from making gaming videos to more lifestyle ones. I've been watching Jake on TikTok throughout the whole of the pandemic, and now that was over, I got to experience his full genre, should I say? Genre? Niche? I don't know. Both Jake and his friend Lo moved to LA and started creating lifestyle videos, and I just loved their styles of filmmaking and editing. Shortly after the inspiration of the two, I decided that I needed a camera. I didn't want to be sat in my room making videos, but rather out with my friends, making much better memories than just Mining for diamonds. At Christmas of 2021, this desire was fulfilled. I received my first ever camera. From that moment on, I decided to upload once a week, just at the time documenting my life, occasionally creating a pretty good video. And even then, if the video wasn't particularly good, just uploading once a week improved my editing skills and overall boosted my creativity. It was at this moment that I came across Kelly Wakasa. And let me just say, wow. Kelly's videos were exactly the kind of things that I wanted to be making. Every single one of his videos was perfect in every single way. So I took inspiration from him and flew out to the Big Apple myself to meet him. I'm kidding, obviously I didn't go to meet him, but I did go to New York. After that holiday, I just came back with so much inspiration. I realized that I needed to just enjoy making videos rather than using a view count for dopamine. So I kept creating and kept creating and kept creating. And here we are now. I'm currently doing my GCCs and likely by the time this video is out, I'll have nearly finished them. Now, until recently, I was unsure what to do with my YouTube channel. However, after some careful consideration, I've decided that during my 12 week summer, 
I'm gonna upload every other day. Even if it's a rubbish video, I'll still upload it. Now, you might be wondering why I'm doing this, and I actually have many reasons. Forcing me to upload means I have to go out and do things in my summer rather than just spending every day sat inside bored. Uploading more often will hopefully increase my editing skills and my creativity. I have the chance to gain a larger audience with more videos. I don't like making videos in public, and so if I have to film and I'm in public, I'm gonna have to film in public. I have no choice but to film anyway, therefore pushing me outside my comfort zone. Speaking of comfort zones, I'll have never uploaded this much, and so it's gonna be a challenge. Finally, it gives me the opportunity to go back and watch my summer. So with all that being said, and you having 40 or so videos to look forward to, I only have one thing left to say. Are you ready? Twisted baby, I'm a goner, I'm a monster, don't listen to what I say cause uh, I just want to say that I came out making this video very nervous actually. This is properly the first time that I've filmed by myself in public. And not just filming something like New York or a festival where there's bound to be other people filming. As you can see, the camera is on a massive tripod and, and well, if people see that, then I wasn't sure what they were going to think. But people have seen it and absolutely no one has cared. They've just walked right past, enabling me to create my video. So if you two are in the same position and want to go out and make a video, just go out and do it.